What's like the biggest mistake you see people making when they're filling out their profile and one way they could make a quick fix? Using cliches is it in answering it's a, it just literally blows my mind. People almost speak in a and it's not just it's not just men that do it. Um, but again, I'm looking at mostly male profiles. Um, but ha having cliches like this one drives me the most insane. Uh, it's a question on Hinge and it's something like, what's the key to a good relationship? And nine out of 10 guys, their answer is communication and trust, hey. communication and trust. And it's like, yeah, obviously, <laughs> duh. So, uh, so you want to not say the same thing that everyone else is saying, but also the thing that's the most obvious. So obviously everyone wants good communication in a relationship and everyone wants trust in a relationship just like everyone wants uh you know money after they work 12 hours mm -hmm. it's like yeah right of course so you want to take a different angle and you want to add a twist to it so in this example um i usually avoid this when i make profiles the key to a good relationship but instead of saying something simple like trust and communication that's something that you can get to once you're messaging with a woman and once you guys are maybe on a date and you're talking more seriously about you know um what makes a good relationship in your answer on the app it should be something fun and playful um and so something that makes a relationship great would be like um you know i don't know uh I, this is not going to – I wouldn't use this answer necessarily, but it's just kind of popping into my head. It would be, um, uh, you know, pillow f pillow fights where I'm – like where I'm the winner every time or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, that's not that clever, but it's just different. Right. Or it could be something like um, a relationship where um, we both agree that – 90 pillows on the bed is worse than just two or something mm -hmm. you know you're just saying something slightly different that someone can kind of latch onto and feel your personality through um so so being cliche in your answers is a huge problem mm -hmm. um because again you just blend in you become the guy the like I said, the same tuxedo guy. We want to be the dumb and dumber tuxedo guys, <laughs> just not as dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so um, usually what I recommend, especially on something that allows you to answer prompts, is two answers that are playful and silly, but there's some truth to them. And then one answer that's a bit more genuine. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, this guy's fun and playful, but he's also an adult. Mm -hmm. So if that one one answer, you know, is the trust and communication, okay, he's an adult. That's the one place where you want to be. But again, that's going to blend in because everyone else says that. So add something to it. Mm -hmm. Say trust, communication, and, um, uh, you know, uh, miss mutual number of massages a week mm -hmm. like you know so you just add in a right. layer to it that's good the rule of three I, th I see you use too just like serious playful serious right just mix it up show your wit you have to i mean i think that's a common thing is people get so burnt out on the apps that they just yeah. get lazy or they keep their profile the same which isn't working for them and you need to go in and and tighten it up. And a lot of times you need another set of eyes on it. You need a, a woman's set of eyes on it. And cause I've looked a couple times at a, a woman's side of the dating app and it is, it is frightening. The bar is, the bar is low and there's so many messages that you, you can see you're like, Oh, I guess this is why you don't get responded to Cause it's just, Hey, Hey, what's up? Nice picture. Great profile. Yep. And it's, it's really, um, it's really, in, it's so not heartbreaking, but it's it's so exhausting. And what it does when you when you have a boring profile, you're adding to like the zeitgeist. I don't know if that's the right word of 
the dating world. So you're bringing down the experience for everyone else, which then brings <laughs> down the experience for everyone else. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, raising, rising tides lifts all ships or something. Mm -hmm. The better your profile, the better other people want to make their profile to compete with, you know, oh, I've got to step up my game. But if we, you know, like you said, guys make it burn out and so do girls, of course, but it's like they get burnt out. So they're just like whatever in their profile. Uh, that is ironic because then it's only going to get them more burnt out because mm -hmm. they're going to get less success right which will then lead to more burnout and more frustration and you know again and then that adds to the whole energy of the entire app of everyone being frustrated and just over it well and the good news though is the bar is so low it doesn't take all that much to stand out you just have to make an effort take a break get another set of eyes on it because you know the fact that everybody is terrible at this could be an opportunity for you to stand out yeah, and the guys that do stand out, I mean, it's just an immediate swipe right for me. Mm -hmm. it's just immediate. You know, they don't have to be exactly my type or exactly, um, you know, physically perfect. You know, they don't have to be super fit. It's like if someone says something that I find to be clever, interesting, different, I'm, I'm like, okay, let's see where this goes. Swipe mm -hmm. right. So you're going to up your chances so much more if you just put that extra effort in.